Hey guys, it's Chris from Code the Things, and I have a multi-part video series on building your own arcade system. Yes, I wanted to soup up the man caves in my neighborhood, and well, we had a spare spot in my neighbor's basement, so I'm going to build a pedestal style arcade system. It's going to seat four players. We're going to mount a TV on the wall, so it's going to sit a little farther back than a typical arcade would on the screen to seat those four players. But I'm going to spec out the materials, cut them up, wire them up, paint them, do whatever I need, and enjoy the fun in the end. So if you're interested in seeing how to build your own arcade system, you found the right video. Let's go check it out. So this is my garage. I apologize for the echo or the fact that one of my neighbors decided to install a wind chime the other day. And uh, I'll clean it up the best I can in post. So the lighting sucks, the sound sucks. We're gonna make do with what we have just to be able to show this project. And that is, I have some of the MDF board here. I went with half inch for the sides and then I will do a three quarter inch for the top as recommended. Um, I have one of the side panels, one of the front panels, and two of the rear panels already uh, mapped out on this. So I'm gonna open up some new tools since apparently every project I do needs new tools. Chop this up and then start going from there. Putting together a table saw took a little bit longer than I thought, but eyes and ears. Here goes the first time of using a table saw. Take two with the table saw on. And besides a little bit of blood on my hand from putting the sucker together, there's our first side panel. So now it's just trace and repeat. It's awesome. So as you can tell, I'm in new gear. I ran out of time yesterday. So I actually got the side panels done, the front panel done, most of the rear panels done. Also did the initial glue and hold together of the two x four base for some rigidity to this. And I picked up the extra pine wood that I need for the inside support. So I'm gonna apply those cut out the top panel, and then I think really starting to piece this sucker together. If you're interested in building one of these yourself, be sure to check out the description below where I have included links to all of the materials as well as the design that I followed. Heck, while you're down there, be sure to click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos as well as part two to this series. Like any good project, uh, it's starting to get dark out, but I've added the mounts for the leveling legs into the base. I have traced out the remaining back panel as well as the top. It seems to be exact to specs. So I'm gonna fire up the table saw, cut out some of the pieces, finish them with the sander, and then see if I can glue at least another of the side panels before I call it a day.
So another day, another set of crappy clothes. I'm pretty excited. I'm getting uh, the actual form together now. So I've mounted the sides on. I have to put a top bracket and I just kind of test fit the top. So I actually, uh, minus the actual very top where I need to drill some holes, I put a bottom plate on. I got glued and brad nailed together the rest of the structure here with pine board. So that looks pretty sweet. Actually can see what this is supposed to be getting my materials in now as well. Still haven't gotten the joystick or the button, so that will be video two. Other than that, let's finish putting the podium together and uh, see what it looks like. So from the front angle, I think I did a pretty good job. This is a little askew. It was my first time using the table saw. I also attempted to wood glue this without using my brad nailer first and things tended to shift a little bit. You can tell from the rear, kind of, if you know what to look for from the front, I made sure I lined it up. I feel like it's pretty good. And the top, uh, since I carved the top pretty well, I believe that's going to mask most of the airs here. So I'm excited to see what this looks like once I get the hinge, once I get the electronics and I'm able to start piecing the rest of this together. So I do appreciate the folks who have stuck through the bad audio and the bad lighting. I had to work in my garage for this project, so I had to make do with what I had. Um, if you're looking forward to it, in part two, I will be doing the painting, the finishing, and some of the electronics. I might roll into a third part of this to finish the electronics and the gameplay. So be sure to click like and subscribe. It truly does help me out with the like and the subscribe will let you know when the next video in the series is released. Until next time.